Welcome back, Freshies. I'm Nat Taylor. And I'm Kalani Purcell. And this is our world. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Can you not sink pull your hair out of yeah. your mouth at the same time as me? <laughs> Lol. Kalani Kirstel, quick moves on the baseline. Taylor hit a big shot. Their aggressiveness and their hot shooting. I think I started mini ball when I was like five, down at our local rec centre in Manirewa. Then I started probably about the same age, pretty much played since then. Why basketball? Because ball is life. Every <laughs> ball is life. <laughs> Nah, our whole family played, mum and dad played. I was just working out of high school. One of my teammates from, I think it was my New Zealand under 18s team, she had been playing in the States and she just mentioned my name to the coach she was playing for and so he just called me up and was like, do you want to come to the States? I was like, yes. <laughs> I didn't want to work anymore. So I guess with Nat and my other sister Hayley going to college in America, as soon as they went, I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do. I wasn't even probably that serious about basketball until I got there and it was a culture shock. Food it was just like the movies. Yeah. My first game was in 2013. I played like two minutes, but it was really cool because I got to play against Lauren Jackson in her last playing year, MVP of the WNBA and all that kind of stuff. So she was just like an awesome player. Um, and I actually got to score on her, which was <laughs> really great. I thought she was going to block you. Yeah, I also thought she was going to block me. <laughs> My story's not as cool. <laughs> I played a little bit and not very well in Japan. And we'll just leave it there. <laughs> Oh, from oh, wow. personal experience, oh, wow. from personal experience, it's all about the footwork. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the one, two, full extension, and the arm. Uh, yeah, it. Just, yeah, hand grip. <laughs> Lol. I'm a bit of a shooter. Kamani's a bit of a bully. I think we both play a bit aggressive. Yeah. Got that from Dad. Yeah. <laughs> we all got that from Dad. Just go handy. <laughs> That. Sick man. <laughs> that just reminded me. When we rolled around Italy with a speaker bag. <laughs> what the heck? I wasn't part of that team. <laughs> it was a cool speaker bag. <laughs> There's been heaps of yeah. good things. Like Olympics for me in Beijing in 08. No experience like it. It was pretty epic. Last pre-Olympic qualifier in New Zealand in November. Yeah. That was oh, really gosh, awesome yeah. to be able to have our family and friends be there and stuff. When I was pretty young, I would have been maybe 16 or 17. I wanted to become a good shooter and one of my coaches in New Zealand told me like so much of it is in your mind. To think that you are a good shooter and then put the work in. Even now, like I, I'll miss 20 shots in a row, but in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna make the next 20 shots. I reckon that's probably actually helped me the most over the years. Yeah, mine's just probably like my whole family. I mean, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty much it. Just everyone. I'm glad I could inspire you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two kids. I work for a property developer, and then me and my husband also run a gym. Pretty busy. <laughs> well, I have no kids <laughs> and also no job outside of basketball, so that's a lie. I babysit her kids. She does. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was nice. Obviously, I'm at the end of my career and um, would it be captain forever. The fact that it went to you, my little sister, made me feel pretty proud and, um, yeah, happy, happy for the team, happy for you. Sometimes annoying to listen to, but, you know, aside from that, it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>